everyone welcome back to my channel so today we've got a sort of little like festive video i've got my festive mug out and a warm coffee this is actually boiling right now probably can't drink any of it at the moment but got a little little festive coffee ready to do a little gift guide i did one of these i want to say last year yeah it must have been last year and i see grackle do if you haven't watched grackle i love her she's always got loads of good videos but yeah she did like a 50 gifts for under 15 pounds little gift guide so i thought let's do the same i'm gonna do 30 because it seemed like she went through them quite quickly so i can just like chat a little bit more about each one but yeah i just thought i'd do a little 30 gifts for under 15 pounds for those who've got secret santa maybe you just decided that you want the budget to be a bit lower little gifts under 15 pounds that i've found some of them i've bought before and like they've been really successful other ones i've just sort of seen or they've been like similar to things that i've bought before so yeah everything will be linked down below as usual a lot of this stuff is actually from amazon because classic you can get it next day most of the time so i've now made a little amazon storefront so i'll link that down below as well i'll do all the individual links but i've got like a whole storefront where it's got the gifts under 15 pounds as like a little list and there's a few extras in there as well and that's all the affiliate links as well if you do enjoy the video give it a like and subscribe as well and yeah let's get started can i can i drink this yet it's gonna burn my mouth. Oh no, she's good. Mm. Let's get going. So, first little thing is prints. I know this is pretty really obvious, but I have I have a reason. So basically, obviously, like everyone loves a little print to have in their room. You can get it in a frame that you can actually hang up, or you can get it in just like a little frame that you can stand up. Really cute. Obviously, there's Decenio, which is the classic one, and then there's also a place called Poster Store, which I should have a discount code for, so I'll put that on the screen. The reason why I'm saying this is I got so my brother and sister-in-law got engaged in New Zealand. So when they moved house, I got them a print of some like new zealand mountains so i think it's actually really cute if you know there's like a special place for someone that you're getting the present for or if it's for like a significant other and it's a place that you've been together something sentimental and like I, I saw in decenio there was like a highway one in like california the algarve mountains there's places in cornwall ibiza loads of places so if there's somewhere that's actually like sentimental to you and them or just to them as a person then that's a really cute little gift that is just more than an aesthetic if that makes sense so that's number one number two is truffle oil so i just got some of this from a carlo and i've used it at tasha's house before as well and it just like if anyone's a foodie it just something to like level up their cooking something that is like quite luxurious that you'd maybe don't want to buy yourself i think truffle oil would be such a cute little stocking filler or a little secret santa present if you know they're like a foodie so i linked one from amazon below which is a bit more expensive so a bit more on the like luxurious side but definitely in the supermarkets i think our one was like two pounds 95 so you can go a lot on the lower spectrum for that one number three so i got this we did like a pick out of the hat secret santa at our family christmas last year and i got this for whoever won like for us to play while we were there which was actually so fun so it was this blow up reindeer game so you blow up the two antlers and people put them on their heads it's basically you throw a ring onto the antler's head. So we played in like teams and stuff and you were just trying to throw these like inflatable blow up rings onto people's antler heads. And it was just really funny, especially when you've had a few drinks down you after the main main Christmas meal. And yeah, I got that off Amazon. So that literally came probably next day. Okay, number four is like, if you're willing to put in a bit more effort and you're gonna go down the DIY route, it's quite obvious, but just a little scrapbook. If you go on free prints, if you haven't had it before, you'll get 45 prints for free. 45 should be enough for a scrapbook book and if not i think you just pay for delivery anyways which is like two or three pounds and then i've linked below some scrapbooks from amazon some of them have like fun pens and like stickers and stuff in it you could do like a chronological order from when you first met to now or maybe like from a holiday that you really loved or just something like that a little scrapbook would probably mean a lot to someone and it would be really nice to like open on Christmas day and then following on from that we did Secret Santa in our house at Leeds and I got mummy as part of her present I got her this little frame which said love you to the moon and back and I got a picture of all four of us together and then she could have that in her room the uni room for the rest of the year which was really cute that's number five number six is for the gals out there it's something that I hear I haven't got this personally I've got a Dior lip gloss but I swear I never hear the end of everyone talking about their fancy beauty lip glosses and they're always saying they don't want to buy a new one because who everyone hates buying makeup makeup is the most annoying thing to buy so 
get your gal a Fenty Beauty lip gloss because I can bet you now she's gonna want it. I don't know what the colour, you probably have to find out what their colour is, but I'm pretty sure on boots at the moment it was like 12 or 13 pounds, but if not, I think it is around like 15, 16, anyways. Number seven and eight are quite travel related, which obviously I've been enjoying my travel as well. I've been having my time off from work, so I would appreciate little things like this. So number seven is a luggage tag. How annoying is it when you're going to the airport and if someone has the same suitcase as you, you don't want to be taking it off, trying to open it, see if it's all your stuff. If it's not, you have to put it back on the thing and otherwise people just use like ribbons or, or stuff that can get damaged and fall off. So a cute little luggage tag, maybe even like a personalized one. I think I've linked down below from this company called Stackers, which I should again have a discount code for, so I'll put that on the screen. But if not, there'll be other ones on like Amazon and stuff, so I can try and link them below as well. Or maybe not on the high street as well. Personalized little luggage tag is so cute. You can have it with you for the rest of your life. Like you only need it once, obviously, unless you lose your suitcase. Fingers crossed, touch wood, you don't. Oh, someone only needs to buy you that once and then you've got it for the rest of your life. Just a really cute little, little present and it's just really useful as well. And then secondly, maybe a bit less useful, but I think is really cute, is a little passport cover. So I got one for Christmas ages ago. Just cause, I don't know why, like you know when you see that girl or that boy with their passport cover in the airport and I just think, wow, you just, you just have your life together. I just think it looks really cute. So I've got one from Osprey, but I got it from the outlet store. So I think it was around 20 pounds. So I might, I might do another, I mean, I wouldn't include the same thing in another video, but if people like this video, I might do another one for like under 30 pounds or 50 pounds or whatever people want to see. So I think I've linked below some from, again, Stackers and not on the high street, because a personalized one would be really cute or just something that you know is like their favorite color. I just, I just like having my own little passport cover. I think it makes me feel really put together when I'm at the airport and it's something you don't really want to buy for yourself. So I think it will be cute to receive as a gift. Right, coffee break. Right, number nine. I mean, I have it right here. Can you see? You won't be able to see it. This is gonna be really annoying to move everything. I have my makeup drawer, but it's a little jewelry holder. So I got this from that same brand, Stackers. It's been a lifesaver. Like, it's so cute. It just sits on, so I put, I put my personalized little note notebook that my godmother very kindly got me and this little candle from Primark on top lay it on my I mean you can't if I put it like there you might be able to see yeah I lay it on there but obviously in the right place but then it just blends in so nicely and it just looks nice on my little dressing table and it's so easy like all organized I can have my gold jewelry my silver jewelry my rings I'm gonna get another one I think to put underneath to do like because I haven't got enough space in there for necklaces and bracelets and things like that that's just rings and earrings at the moment and that is just such a nice little gift to receive as well because again it's something that's like storage who really wants to buy like their own storage not me so i think that would be really cute to receive as a gift i think that specific one that i got was more than 15 so i'll try and find like smaller ones or even just like a necklace holder like you know those trees necklace trees that's such a cute little thing to receive or even just like a ring tray because again it's really useful and makes your room look cute. Okay, number 10, we're coming in strong with a classic, a personalized decoration. My grandma, since I've been born, my grandma's got me and my cousin a personalized bauble every year with our name on it. And it's so cute because it just, it, it builds up a Christmas tree each year. It's something that you can take away when you then move out and get your own house. You've got your own decorations then, it's not your parents, like you've got your own decorations. And it doesn't have to be a bauble, any little personalized decoration, there's loads or not on the high street that I've put down below. It's a classic, it's quite obvious, but it's always gonna be a good present for Christmas. Number 11, I'm really going for it with the personalizations at the moment, not gonna lie. Number 11, I think is really cute. There's a personalized little, I don't know if it's faux leather, probably faux leather, but a little, oh, what do you call it? Like a placeholder um, when you're reading. Bookmark, bookmark, that's it. So yeah, a little, little corner, leather corner bookmark, little personalized so they're not gonna lose it. If you get one for all the family, I don't know, you can know who's is who's. I mean, I know a lot of people have Kindles and stuff these days, but I prefer to like bring a real book when I go away with me on holiday, probably get too hot in the sun. My dad still wants to read books, the hardback, the softback, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> paperback, that's it. Okay, number 12 and 13, we're going Hotel Chocolat. Again, another classic, but it just does not disappoint. Hotel Chocolat chocolate. It's just unreal, and if you become a member, you get little perks and stuff here and there, so you get like early access to sales. It's free, obviously, you just have to, I think you just have to get the app. First thing is this, I think it was this mince pie hot chocolate. 
How cool is that? For if it's, if it's someone that's like a hot chocolate lover, likes to try different flavours, I think it was literally saying like best selling on their website. I kind of want to try it to be honest, I'm tempted to buy it for myself. Definitely good for a secret sound. And because Hotel Chocolat is more on like the luxury end, it does feel like you've put more effort into it. 13 is just the classic cage box. I mean, you cannot go wrong with a stunning box of chocolates, all different, all to do with Christmas. I mean, I, I'd be gassed. Personally, if my secret hands got me that, I'll be winning. Okay, number 14 is actually something I got my sister-in-law for her birthday this year, and it was on Amazon. It was just this little mindfulness jar, and I think it was 60, 60 days, so it's two months, and you pull out like a little card every day, and I think it gives you something to do for the day to help stay calm and relaxed, and then also there was like an ebook as well for like other suggestions that she sent me. And I'm just suggesting this because the woman was just so cute who sold it. It seemed like a really small little business. She emailed me like straight away to thank me. Like, I've never really had that on Amazon and she just emailed me and was like so grateful for the purchase. Yeah, basically she was really cute. She just really wanted to check that I got the little ebook and she was just so sweet. That is a really cute little gift. If someone's into like their mindfulness and meditation and all that sort of stuff. And it was pre-wrapped, so didn't need to do any wrapping, so that saves you the cost of wrapping paper. Okay, then I had a little look on The White Company, because I know The White Company is a nice, like, luxurious kind of brand. I'm going to Vista with my mum in a few, probably like two weeks' time, and there's an outlet store there of The White Company, so you might be able to find stuff like this there. Yeah, one thing that I saw kind of random on their website was a leather mirror. I don't have a compact mirror that I carry around with me. I don't really have a mirror that I can bring with me. When you, you go to, like, someone's house and you want to do your makeup there or if you want to touch up on the train if you're commuting and stuff so I thought having like a nice proper or compact mirror to put in your handbag or whatever it would just be a really nice little thing to buy and you probably wouldn't want to buy it for yourself but I thought that would be really nice to receive as a gift and then the second thing that I saw on their website was this like fluffy sleep eye mask which I know some people hate when there's like any light, some people sleep with eye masks on every day. That's not really me. I don't mind a little bit of light. I quite like waking up to natural light, but I guess if you're hungover, that would be nice <laughs> when you do just want it to be completely pitch black. And again, it's just, it feels that little bit more special and like luxurious because it's from an expensive and like well-known nice brand. So yeah, those are two nice little things from the White Company. Number 17, I've seen this everywhere and I've heard so many good things about it, is the Neon Sleep Mist. I think you just spray it on your pillow and it's meant to like relax you and just give you a really good night's sleep. I think I found some that are under 15. There is a little tiny one that I think is more it's like a little travel one that was only eight pounds so you could get that as like an extra little stocking filler but yeah i think there is a few bigger ones that i'll try and link below that are under 15 but yeah that would be a really cute little gift for especially if someone who's finding it difficult to sleep at the moment i don't know it's quite cold i'm having to wear a lot of layers in bed at night so a nice little sleep mist might be nice number 18 is quite fun it'll be really good for your christmas cocktails but it's shaped ice cubes so a tray basically an ice cube tray shaped like something that the person you know like so i got some for my boss i think as a leaving present she had a little sausage dog called frank so i got these for her it was like a little sausage dog shaped ice cube tray and i just thought it was so cute quite different obviously not something that you're gonna have to use every day but i thought that would just like brighten my day if i was having a little iced coffee or if you get festive ones as well and you were having like a little christmas cocktail and you wanted to put some ice in imagine a cute little like snowflake shaped ice or a snowman eyes or sausage dog eyes i just think that would be really cute number 19 this was literally because i was just going through my amazon buys to see what i've bought in the past to recommend and i saw a disposable camera it was one of like the first things i bought ages ago you can never go wrong with a disposable camera as a present it's just such especially if it's for something like for a specific event or even for christmas day say you have a massive family christmas again it's like a little secret santa thing or a stocking thing for someone to open in the morning they can then take loads of pictures throughout christmas day and then get them developed and you'll just have that whole day to remember forever in some actually nice like a little photo album and then you could make a little scrapbook and I think that would just be a really cute little Christmas present and they don't have to do that they can save it if they've got maybe they've got their holiday coming up I just think it's always nice and it's always so much fun when you get them developed at the end and you're like which ones came out well and what did we actually take photos of especially if you bring it out on like a night out what number are we at now 
Number 20 is another Amazon thing. Again, this is quite classic, but just a little cocktail making kit. I have lost my cocktail shaker. I bought one for myself ages ago, but with, I think I've, I've lived in so many different places since, <laughs> like during COVID, being in like a million different uni rooms, and now I've moved full on house as well. So she is long gone. I don't know where she is, but a little cocktail shaker and stirrer and all that, especially if it's, if you give it to them like a little bit before Christmas or It'd be good for New Year's Eve as well, if you're doing like a New Year's Eve party at home or something. It's always fun to make cocktails at home, especially if it's you're buying it for a uni gal or a boy. I mean, anything to do with alcohol while you're at uni, you're going to be happy with. <laughs> right, we're getting into the 20s now. So number 21 is a little selfie ring light. I bought myself one of these as my first ring light that I use on YouTube. It I don't know why I bothered doing this because it gives out like no light. So the whole re the whole point of it is to actually to put it on your phone and like take selfies with it. I've never done that and I actually don't use mine anymore because I'm not a FaceTime person. But I have heard, this is what Grackle said in her video, it's really good for FaceTime. If, if you're a FaceTime person, you FaceTime people late at night or early in the morning when you have all the lights off in your room, it gives out like the perfect, if you don't have a lamp beside your bed or something like that, it gives out like the perfect amount of light just to illuminate your face. A little FaceTime call so it's not a gift that I personally would need or would care about that much but if someone is you know or if you FaceTime someone quite a lot and if they're always in the dark or whatever that would be a cute little present to get them as sort of like a little joke or for if someone just likes taking selfies you know <laughs> number 22 is the Zara perfume as much as we hate buying makeup I also hate buying perfume because oh it's just the most annoying thing when it's like running to the bottom and you don't want to buy a new one because you just want to keep using the last spritzes of the one that you've got left but sometimes you've got to buy the bullet and buy a new one so it would be absolutely great if someone did that for you and the Zara one is ridiculously cheap always smells so good you just can't go wrong with it so link that one down below all right we're getting into the last seven now so it's another little coffee break Number 23, for the gals and boys who have troubles with their skin, things like that, where I know that everyone says the ordinary is really good, so I found a little ordinary gift ordinary gift set i think it was on look fantastic or something like that it's got obviously loads of little bits in it a little present that's cheap and useful okay number 24 i saw this and thought this is such a good present if you're working and you've got multiple screens i never realized how dusty my laptop screen is and i never have anything to clean it with so i literally just go like this with my jumper or whatever i'm wearing at the time like a little screen cleaner i mean who wants to buy themselves one of those absolutely no one but it'd be so nice to have one you could put it in your work from home office and just have it on the side, clean it every time, like clean your laptop or your computer. I sometimes I get food on it. <laughs> I'm like editing but eating at the same time. So quick little clean. Obviously it's great for in the office as well. You can just leave it on your office desk and then clean away whenever you need to. So again, it's a useful and just like cute little gift that is actually quite thoughtful but I'd never think about buying for myself. Number 25. Okay, this is something that I haven't actually personally bought myself but the one that I looked at had really good reviews. So fingers crossed it does work if you buy it. A back massager. I love massages, like absolutely love massages. Probably get one less than once a year because I'm not made of money <laughs> and I'm not going to spas every day. Having a back massager in your house or, and one of those head massages, oh, I love them. Get me one of them and I'll be happy. But yeah, a little back massager, put that on while you're watching a Christmas film or just if you're feeling a bit tense or maybe yeah, if you're working from a desk and you're feeling a bit tense. Absolutely lovely, I'd love that as a little present. Number 26 is something that would be really useful if someone is like someone who goes camping or good for like festivals, things like that. It's like a wine cooler or a gin cooler glass. So it basically keeps your gin or your wine or whatever alcohol or non-alcoholic drink you've got in there cool. Obviously this is quite a good gift for far in advance if someone is a festival goer because they're probably not going to be going until summer. Worst thing is when it's like 20 something degrees, you pick up your drink, and it's just warm like warm vodka and fanta or what no if i had i mean don't get me wrong i'd be scared someone was going to steal it because anything that's valuable is a hot commodity in festivals especially a good chair but yeah a little cooler glass would be so good for a little festival and then you're not gonna have horribly warm alcohol to drink number 27 i mean you don't have to get this exact one i just saw it on amazon and thought this is cute if someone's into their gaming it's just 
a chocolate game controller. I know boys can be absolutely obsessed with video games and all stuff like that. So this would just be a fun little novelty thing to get for them. And it's Christmas. You can't go wrong with chocolate at Christmas. But yeah, I'm sure there's a million other things that you could get chocolate in the shape of like is special to someone, like a football, books, a camera, I don't know, anything like that. So yeah, just a little novelty kind of cute little gift would be really cute. Number 28 is a glossy box, just one glossy box, because I know a whole subscription. I My godmother got me the subscription for one of my birthdays and I loved it. I love receiving a little a box every month, which was really cute. But if you don't know someone very well and you know they're maybe into their like self-care and hair care and makeup and all that sort of stuff, I think the February glossy box is under 15 pounds and it's worth so much. It's got so many little bits and bobs in there, which is so fun for you to be able to try out. And yeah, I just think that would be a really good gift for someone. Again, if you're not entirely sure on their beauty routine and all that sort of stuff, it's nice to get them something that has loads of different gifts in it technically that is worth so much more than you actually pay for it number 29 our penultimate gift is something that was i just saw on for i looked on fortnum and mason because i thought again that's another kind of like bougie luxurious brand that you don't really tend to buy from yourself but would be lovely to receive as a christmas present they're doing this coal that's like chocolate honeycomb but it looks like coal and i think that'd be such a good little stocking filler because it's like a joke isn't it that if you've been naughty you get coal in your stocking and things like that so i think that would be such a good little joke of like a stocking filler plays on a classic like funny christmas tradition but it's also pang like i'm sure that chocolate honeycomb slaps i love honeycomb crunchy bars i love them so yeah that would be such a cute little like fun gift to receive that i probably wouldn't buy for myself but would be quite jokes and paying to receive for yourself. And then finally, another little beauty related gift. The girls out there who are having trouble with their hair, my hair has just decided to stop growing. I mean, I don't know. I've been get, I've got it cut twice now since it stopped growing. I think it's maybe starting to grow again. We'll see. It used to literally be down here. So that's very sad, but something to help those girls out is a classic hair mask. I know people talk about them all the time. It's such a nice sort of like luxurious self-care, Sunday self-care little thing to do. And yeah, it would just be nice to receive as a gift as well because I think they're quite spendy for what they are. So I think I've got one or two linked down below. And yeah, that is 30 gifts for under 15 pounds. So I know a lot of them were a bit more aimed at females just because that's more what I know to buy for and like what things that I'd be happy to receive. But some of them were more aimed at the male species. But yeah, if you did enjoy that little video, give it a like and subscribe and let me know if you want any more gift guides for more expensive gifts, maybe even cheaper gifts. I hope that's helped. And it's kind of given me a few little ideas for Christmas presents. And I will see you really soon with a new video. Bye.